Hello and welcome to my review of 71770 Zane's Golden Dragon Jet from the Lego Ninjago genre. I bought this for its resale price of $34.99 USD and I'm excited to review it for you here today. With that out of the way, let's get on with my review. So here's the main build of Zane's Golden Dragon Jet and I am really liking this. Sorry, there was some dust there. Um, yeah, like the, the shape of it, it's quite good. Though, from the side, it's a little bit gappy, but that's okay. And it has some nice parts included here, most notably this piece here, which I do not believe has ever come in this gold color before. At least not in a set this cheap, but it might have come in some other sets before. But let's take a closer look at this thing. Starting at the front here, you can see here we have the... Uh, dragon head piece introduced for Ninjago Core earlier this year and yeah it's really good it works well for like the nose of the plane that's what's supposed to be there and uh, yeah with the the teeth hanging down there you can get the whole golden dragon vibe of this set especially since it flies and it's the only golden dragon vehicle to actually fly so there it is essentially the only one deserving of the name I'm joking of course they all are somewhat deserving of it and so, with, no, don't mind me rambling. Um, here we have a stickered part here, and my biggest complaint with this set is the stickers. They're all clear backed for this reason here. Taking off this canopy piece, which is a nice part. I love this. Uh, it's a bit dinged up. It came like that. Very sad. But you can see here, you have a clear back sticker on the windscreen that has uh, Vangelis there, and it says uh, Target there. So it's like Target acquired, here's the side of the quakes or whatever. So in the show, this vehicle never has a holographic display within it at all. We never see this. So Lego gave us a stickered part uh, on this uh, jet that is inaccurate to the show and was very unnecessary. Like, I would say I, I gave it to this because I like my Lego sets to be complete and mostly how they come from Lego themselves. But I would say to those of you who do not share my um, opinion on that, just leave it off. It's quite bad. But you can see here, moving back to this figure, that the white is a little bit gray because it's a clear back, and so the black of the piece behind it is bleeding into it. And I do not like that. Like, say if you took this sticker for whatever reason and put it on, say, like a red part, you would see the red coming through the white. That is not good. I do not like that at all. And you can see here, this gold color is intended to match this gold color, and it doesn't because it's clear backed. Like, if it was not clear backed, it would be perfectly fine. You can see. Some other sticker parts here, they're fine with the whole clear back thing, but the stuff with the gold either should have been its own separate sticker sheet or they all should have been uh, white backed. Uh, moving up a little bit closer here, you can see that we have this piece here, which is the same on the other side. Uh, this is my first time getting it in gold and you get a total of four of these parts here. This is great. I, I really like the amount of gold they throw into the crystallized wave. I know it really jacked up the price of a bunch of sets, but it's accurate to the show. This is intended to be the vehicle when it has the nanotech gold polymer added to it to protect it from the crystals, which is fine. And opening this up here, you have lots of black ingots, which is interesting. I don't think that was part of the show, but um, you can fit a minifigure in there with this armor piece, which is always nice to see. You can close them on up there just fine. But this part here, it's, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but in person, this is a different shade of gold than this. I don't like that personally, but I don't really know what's going on. So I don't know how to fix that, but it's an all new part for this wave. And it is great, like really, really great. It's one of my favorite new parts from this wave. Might actually be my favorite. But behind that, we have, uh, some ball joints in there, you can see right there, that just holds on the cockpit to the back of the plane. 
and you can see some open studs there. I wish they closed those up. I know, I know you can't close up those ones because they're blocked by the gold bar, but that just do something to cover these up. Like that, that should not be an issue. But uh, exactly the same on the other side, and you have these gold fins here, which can be moved, but I don't think you are meant to do that. Now moving to the back part of the plane, we have this stickered part here, which says boost in the jargon. And once again, it suffers the whole clear back thing with the black making the gold too dull, but I think it works fine with the blue. It's, it's okay. I think it still more or less matches this blue here, but uh, yeah, not liking the sticker sheet here. And this, this is awful. Like, truly awful. Like, it is a fantastic sticker, don't get me wrong. But the fact that this gold piece is, the gold detailing on this sticker is so large, and yet it is very, like, painfully obvious that it is not the same gold. Like, these songs parts could be forgivable if this part did not exist. I don't like this, and you can't really pose it in a way that's good. You can articulate it, which is fine i guess but like sticking it like that you have a gap sticking it down like that to close the gap it looks i don't know there's something looks weird something looks off but again the gaps are there for a reason but flipping that up here you have a white uh tile there to provide some smoothness for the transformation of the feature of the set which i will show you eventually some more of these good gold uh, angle parts and you can see some uh, like a, a double cheese slope in black here as well as a gold part there and Another black part there. There's a bunch of black on a Zane vehicle. I don't know what's going on there, but at least there's more white. And then you have two more of these new pieces, which is nice to see. And they are the turbines of this thing. The intakes, at least. And this, this is really good. I like this. And you have the back parts there, which is an existing piece, I believe, from Nexo Knights. And you have a, another gold fin here, which is the... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Sorry, I'm not a plain guy. I'm not a plain guy, but I have a problem with this. Moving back here, it has a red pin. That part exists in black, and the black would fit in with the color scheme, but this red is not good. It doesn't fit with anything on here. Like, there's no other red parts in this set, I don't believe. But this can be angled down if you want. I don't know why you would want to do that. And you have some wheel pieces here with some thrusters. And, yeah, that looks good, but big butt here like, these parts just, just taking a look at this part this is the same for both so i'm not going to show you both but this part here with the tile and the technic peg there spinning it around you have the biggest ugliest roughest mold mark i have ever seen on a lego set and the fact that this wave is so pricey it's ridiculous to see this bad quality of a part in a set like this. This is awful, truly unforgivable on LEGO's part, like seriously. You jack up all the prices of this wave for the gold parts, and yet you can't just use the same good quality of parts you've been having since forever. I, I am appalled by that, but all negativity aside, like this is kind of fun. I don't think you're meant to do this, but it doesn't do this in the show at least. But you can move these around. I find myself fidgeting with this quite often. It's really fun, but you're supposed to build, attach them like this when they rebuild them, and then like just angle them down so you can put the fin in there. But it's cool. It's cool. And right here we have a spinner crown. Just to remove this one here in dark azure which is awesome. This part has existed since 2012, and we've never gotten this in this color before, I don't believe. So yeah, that is, that's really cool. It looks really, really pretty. And we have some uh, uh, turbine prints there. These are prints, not stickers, as always. Nice to see. And we have some white plates to represent the, the wings here. And as you can see, there's a lot of exposed studs like right, right here. I wish this was closed up a little bit better, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Just like throw in another one of these parts there. Uh, that's what I would have done. Um, you have some more sticker parts here, and these work 
These work just fine. They're exactly the same, exactly identical, same stickers, everything like the same sticker number. Uh, these work just fine with the clear backing. I think the blue they printed great on these stickers. Like it admittedly is not the same color as the blue there, as you can see, but it's fine. Like you can't really notice that well and it looks really, really good. Blue is an excellent color for Zane. And now moving to these blade pieces, you got a total of four of them and they are all exclusive to this set. It is dual molded in gold and, oh, there are red parts. Uh, it is dual molded in gold and trans light blue. And this is an all new part for this wave and I don't think it's been used in anything since, but it is like the large molded blade for the good guys in this wave. You get a, a large molded blade for the bad guys, which is a giant crystal. And this is great. Like I like the marbling going down in here. It might not be intentional, but who cares? It looks cool. It looks really, really cool. And no two of these are alike. Like you'll see, like it is identical. It is like unique as a human footprint. Not sure. Footprint. Fingerprint. What is wrong? Sorry. Jeez, my brain. And yeah, four of them. And now we come to the big transformation and what we've all been waiting for. Let me position this in a ideal angle for this. I'm sorry, you can't see the whole set. Let's try it again. There we go. Wow. That is really cool. So you can see that the, the plane becomes shorter in length but then it becomes wider in terms of the wings. And that is, like, it looks complex. Like, I saw the images of this. We all saw the images of this, like, way before this set was officially revealed. Like, the funniest leak in Ninjago history. But, um, yeah, it looks like a ninja star. Like this. It looks like a throwing star, which is perfect for Zane, because that's, like, his, uh, like, classic weapon. Like, his most iconic weapon in the series. And this is my preferred look for the plane. Like, I would display it like this any day, any given day of my life. Um, so this is supposed to be the powered up version of the vehicle in the show. In universe, uh, it does this, it charges up and it like shoots gold lasers at the crystals and it's supposed to destroy them. And yeah, it's great. And you can see from the side, most of those gaps are all closed up yet again. Great. So like I said, this looks complex, and it's not. These parts here are on rails. It is fit into these anti-rail parts there that hold it in place, but this is not attached by any means at all. It, the only attachment with this part and this part is by this rotating piece that's been around for who knows how long. It is so unbelievably, unbelievably simple, and I love it for that. And here's a quick look at the other side. I'm sorry, I'm flipping it around so much. But yeah, nothing all too special, but it, it's complete. I like that. But yeah, I think that's about it for the main build here. And this is the only build in the set. We don't get any side builds. So let's move on to the minifigures, then the instruction manual, and I'll give you my overall thoughts. Here's the first minifigure in this set. Here we have Golden Zane. And this is the this uh, variant of this Zane suit appeared in the episode Return to Primeval's Eye when they go to break their vehicles out of the police impound lot. And it never, there, no, there is no like given explanation for what happened to their like previous suits, um, like why they have the armor on them. Like this is very clearly the other ninja suit, which is exclusive to the Crystal Temple. In case you want to get that set, I will sadly not be getting that set in the near future. Um, anyway, you get here some very nice, very, very nice torso printing. Like, I like the idea of like, the robes being opened and the armor being added to them. The armor plates look great. The straps look great. And I'm not sure why his power source is exposed despite the suit was supposed to be offering him some more protection. That doesn't make any sense. But regardless, you get a blue belt here which also has some armor on it right there. And yeah, nice splash of color there. And you have like a battle skirt sort of attached right here and it goes down there and you have some knee pads. 
and he has gold arms with some black hands that is uniform across all the ninjas and he uses the zane hood from the like that legacy accessory pack with the golden zane there only it has a uh, printed ninjargon letter r for resistance and his one accessory in this set not counting something else that you get he has a golden sword which can't fit in the jet with him but attached to him but it can fit in there with him which is good but uh yeah he uses the the season 11 shoulder pattern gold which debuted in uh sorry 2019 or 2020 i think yeah 2020 and taking his mask off there he have his face print which i'm very sick and tired of like zane is angry again but taking his shoulder pad off here you can see his back torso print which looks pretty good you have a zane symbol back there letter z and continuing the armor from the front of his torso. Now, there is something very strange with this minifigure. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but taking him up a way closer so that we'll focus. There is something really weird and it has to do with his legs. I might, you might be able to see it better if I remove his torso and head. But just right there, right there, there is a very small bit of extra material that mold, that was accidentally left on in the mold for his hips. But if you stick his torso, it might not seem like too much of a big deal, but if you stick his torso back on, there is a small gap left behind. And that drives me crazy. Like, I know it's a really small thing, but I cannot on to see it. It took me a while to see it, and now I, it haunts me. But uh, other than that, this is a great minifigure, and I'm glad that you get him for so cheap here, because the only other set he comes in is $150. The next minifigure in this set, here we have uh, General Vangelis, and he looks really good. Really, really good. Um, he has the side of the Quakes crystallized here, so that's the side of the destruction here, and we have a crystal blade piece which i'm not sure why he has this like he didn't have it in the show he just had the scythe but it's nice to get it in another set here uh, taking that away from him i can show you this up closer it's very long i wish he could hold up closer to the top of it but that's not a very big deal but this crystal adapter can fit all of the golden weapons you can slide the sword and the scythe and the top of the nunchucks all in here and you attach the shurikens on these bars and you attach the back of the nunchucks there, and it's it's great. Not really much to say about it. And it actually works as a sword on its own. Like, really odd-looking sword, but it looks decent enough as, like, a sword or a knife. Without taking that away, you can see his torso print and his leg print not exclusive to this set, because all of the villains for the wave, at least the main returning villains, the generals, use this as their uniform, which I am okay with. Like, there's some people out there that don't really enjoy that. It's kind of like the, I, I, I agree, it's kind of like the Quantum Realm torsos from Avengers Endgame, which did get very annoying. But regardless, this is good. And he has the crystal armor here, which is a great part. I love that. And it has holes in the back, which looks really weird on other minifigures, but it was designed for him to have his wings here just like in season 13. And speaking of season 13, he uses the exact same mask part, which is kind of disappointing. I wish we got a more accurate one with some printing on it, but whatever, it's okay. And then you get this new face print, which is very similar to his previous face print, only his eyes are more open and um, he has a pink symbol and eyes instead of, as opposed to green symbol and eyes. And that looks great, but taking his head off to show his back torso print hmm. very simple not much to say about it just like samurai armor but yeah this is a great mid figure i'm happy to get him and i'm very happy very happy to finally get this after like 11 years of asking for it thank you lego last but certainly not least here we have 
Golden Dragon Cole. And he's amazing. Like the amount of translucent parts that they put on these Golden Dragon minifigures is insane. So he uses a sword for his accessory. He's actually the only Golden Dragon ninja to come with an accessory other than the golden weapon. And the back box art shows him holding the side of the quakes. So you have that option. And you may notice his right arm and right leg are very loose from me playing with him. Yeah, I should probably not do that as much with my other figures. But um, upon watching the show, I realized that this figure is inaccurate, which is the ca same case with Jay. But I could honestly care less. Like this, this is good enough to be forgivable. But up, up close, we have um, his torso print, which is really, really cool. He has some reflectiveness to it, which looks great. Yeah, it's like armor printing. You got like a rock sort of in gold there around his orange symbol, which is over like a lava pit in his chest. And you can see uh, a bunch of cracks in the rock as it moves down here and his legs and arms are completely trans orange. And those look great. Like trans orange arms and legs and orange hands are all very welcome inclusions. I don't have enough of those at all. I don't have any of these actually. This is my only pair. And putting him back on here, he uses this new dragon mold, which is exclusive to this figure. The mold is not, the color is, um, with the trans orange and gold. Yeah, that looks great. And his face print here, I don't know. I mean, it looks really cool, don't get me wrong, it looks really, really cool, but it doesn't look much like Cole. Like, they gave him a freaking unibrow, which is really funny, but uh, it just doesn't look like him to me. But that is really good. Face print, nevertheless, taking this off, you can see his back torso print, which is insane. Like, just look at that. That is so good. The rocks breaking apart to make the letter C in his name is so good. And you got like the lighter shade of yellow over top the orange to give it the, the lava more depth. It's perfect. And uh, yeah. He's a great minifigure. And his wings here, moving him out of the way, they're exclusive to him, but they're the same mold used on the core dragons from 2020, winter of 2022. But they use cone pieces on here to, uh, cone, cone pieces on here to attach horns, to make longer horns. And uh, my one complaint, one and only complaint with this minifigure, aside from the inaccuracy, which isn't really much of a complaint, is these blue pins just do not match the rest of the color scheme. Just building him back up here. Again, just attaching those. Oops. Back on. You can see if I spin him around. That is awful. I mean, it looks fine on Jay. Like, it looks okay on Jay. But it looks really, really good on Zane. Like, since Zane uses so much blue on his minifigure, it's fine, but with Cole and Kai especially, it doesn't fit, and I wish they could have, like, recolored this part and not have it be blue, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. But other than that, this is an awesome minifigure, and I uh, really wish everybody can get one of their own ninja, own, like, favorite ninja, or uh, get all of them, which is what I'm trying to do. I have three out of four right now. Uh, very helpful that I can pick up that last one. Here's the instruction manual with this set. And um, it's atrocious. Like, what is this? The box art for this set, I unfortunately don't have the box anymore because I bought this set a while ago. Um, oh. Lego used to do the box art on the manual. And now they've omitted that entirely and just gone with it. Their CGI render from lego.com just planted down right on top of there. And with the lighting and the background being tan, it looks so ugly. Like the gold looks yellow, coal down there looks ridiculous. Everything is painfully CGI. Like none of this looks real at all. He just looks too plasticky, which I mean is ridiculous to say because everything is plasticky on this set. Um, 
yeah, I am not a fan of these. But it is it is what it is now. Like, that's what they've stuck with. But regardless, if this had, if this strip of tan right here was replaced with the box art, I would be absolutely fine with this. Like, the, the background here with the, the bricks looks really, really good. And just flipping it around here, uh, you have what you, we've been getting since 2017 with this Lloyd right here from the Lego Ninjago movie. But this looks really good. I have no complaints with this. Um, but curiously, this QR code is upside down. What the heck? There's so much things wrong. And you have an ad that uh, we'll be getting paper bags soon, which so far the only Lego set to have that is the 2023 Pyacan, the Tolkoon crab suit, where they put the head molds for the Pyacan in there. But flipping through this, just so you can see, we do have some changes to this. Like we no longer have like the fancy style of uh, bracket here. We have the corners lopped off here, but that's all really. And you have an orange progress bar at the bottom. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan of this CGI render. So there's my review of Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. I am happy with what I get here. Like you get three very well done minifigures, especially Golden Dragon Cole here. And the build is a very fun toy and makes for a great display piece. But the price of $35 US is not ideal. I would rather see this at its original price of $30, which was a great deal until Lego jacked up the price on release date. Still not sure why they did that, but whatever. It's just $5 more. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge deal. It's just not what I would prefer. And it's not as overpriced as everything else in this wave. So really, it's not that bad, but um, it's definitely worth getting. Like if you are interested in Ninjago, you like the sets or whatever, I would highly, highly recommend you pick it up. It's really, really good. Uh, the playability is great. The minifigure is great. But I am very let down by the quality of the pieces in those in the back of those like mold marks, which I believe the golden dragon headpiece might have. Yeah, right there, right there. Not as noticeable. Forgot to show that with the minifigure, but um, yeah, not happy with that. But uh, the instruction manual CGI render instead of box art is really bad. Hopefully they look better on other stuff. I saw the manual for the um, that ATTE set for 2022, which my friend has, he built it with me, um, in the same room, I didn't help him build it, but, uh, I saw the manual, and the CGI render looked fine on that, and I saw an early review of an Avatar set with that same thing, again, it looked fine, I'm not sure why the renders on those sets look fine with, as opposed to this set, but... I'm not a fan of the idea as a whole. Like, I just wish it would go back to the way it was, but that's just me. Um, nothing ever seems to go back to the way it was, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but that is still just my opinion. Like, uh, you are entitled to your own opinion about everything that I don't like about this set. And I... And I'm curious to see what you think of this set, but that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you all in my next video.